this is Kathleen and I'm here to do the cover for the Dollar Tree Challenge Junk Journal. I'm going to do some mixed media stuff on here, painting, and, and possibly line the inside. I do have an inch and a half spine, which is, you know, kind of bigger than, than a single signature, but it is just about right for two signatures, especially as I have um, several pages in here. So, so those fit and they, the signatures are not completely ready. I still have to kind of do a little bit of trimming and round all the corners and a couple of other things maybe before it gets sewn in. So we'll do that later, but I just wanted to um, show you that. I kind of have to judge how, how big to make the signatures by how big the spine is on a, a cereal box journal. So, I have a number of videos on how to prepare a cereal box, and this is essentially like a cereal box. It's just, it's just a little smaller. But I also have some things prepared to decorate the cover and the inside. And so let's just get started. And the first thing that I'm going to do is sand it. Now you've seen me sand well, many of you have seen me sand a number of times. So all I do is just with some sandpaper, I just start taking that ink off. Okay, I'm done with the sanding and I just want to remind you that sanding can be dangerous to your lungs. So you might need to wear a a mask. Yeah, be careful with that. Okay, so now I want to um, just do some mixed media. There's a number of ways that I can decorate this, and I will put a link to the playlist for all of the videos I have for um, decorating a cereal box cover. But what I'm going to do today is just do some mixed media painting. I'm just going to start with um, just some paint on the front. So remember that the front is going to be largely um, covered up because I have some, um, some a panel kind of affair that I'm going to do. So I'm going to be a little more careful on the back that I, I leave. I don't want to just have a solid bit of painting. Okay, so that's cleared up. Now let's squish out some of this gold and do something similar first. You can see how transparent this paint is. It's, it's really it's just more like kind of a gold glaze than now I can also, if I get too much, I can come in and dab, dab some out. I do kind of want to leave um, a little bit of white showing because there is white in the, the journal. Let's just dab a couple of bits on here. Okay, now, um, now I want to use um, the, a darker blue and do um, some sponging. Get just a little bit of black because that's gonna darken this a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit of black. There, that's good. Okay, and we're also going to thin that 
just a little and that will mix in when I when I do the sponge okay this is a sea sponge so I'm just gonna dab that in and then I'm just gonna dab that on like this and I'm turning the sponge every so often so that it doesn't become a pattern Okay, so now let me clean this up and dry this and we'll be back. Just before I dry this, I'm gonna come back and, and do some with this same color. I'm gonna do just a little bit of sponging on this envelope. And it is still wet. So that's going to kind of fade in. Um, as the paint dries, it will kind of fade that, that sponged acrylic. So I'll put that back over to dry. Okay, so there's the outside of the cover. That's done. And now there's the inside. And I think what I'm going to do is cover it with this paper that, that we made in the last video. So I'm going to... That in half, I will get the map medium. I want to get the paper all the way glued to the edge over the top. Okay, now we'll do the other side. Okay, so now we have the outside. We have the, these two covers down and I used the sponge and did a little sponging on that. And we're gonna trim this now around the edge. Okay, and now, here's what I have to help finish the, the book. So on the inside, I'm going to use this um, to cover this part, but again, I want to use texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna measure how, how much I want it to come over. I think maybe about right there. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna tear this part off. And then I'm going to give it a lot of texture by crumpling it. So I'm gonna crumple it once, and then I'll come back and crumple it again. And 
I'm going to it again. And by about this time, it's starting to feel just a little bit like fabric. I didn't find any fabric in the Dollar Tree to help me out, so I have to use paper. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue glue that down, but I need to find the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue along the spine first, and then we'll glue the edges down. So that's about right there. And I'm not going to put, um, I'm not going to do what I did on the outside cover like this because I kind of want that to be rough and textured. So now we'll come back and put glue along here. Yeah, it looks like it's bending okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just kind of make this a little bit of a rough edge on the top and bottom because I don't have any lace sadly I I may you know put lace in another journal but I don't have any for this one so I'm just gonna smash and smush that down and then leave just a little bit along the top there I kind of like to have those wrinkles in there. Yeah, we'll just kind of tear that one off. There we go. Yeah. All right. Now I have um, these three pieces. So what I did with this card is I just punched some holes with my crocodile, and then I just did a simple crochet edge. I mean, it's a really simple one. I was going to do something more elaborate, but the baker's twine, this is a little thicker than I'm used to. So yeah, it, um, it was honestly too thick for for um, anything thicker than, than this little chain edge. Okay. All right, so we'll glue that down. So I have this. I have this pretty embossed paper that was in the paper pack from the Dollar Tree. And I think I'm gonna do something like this. Yeah. So this one goes on first. So let me glue this on. So this, with happy memories, it came from the inside of this card. So that was kind of a nice, a nice sentiment. There, that's good. I kind of like that. Now, I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at my hands. Sorry about that. Okay, so the final thing that I need to do is round this spine. That's what I what I want to do. If it was not already finished, I would just use my scoreboard, but 
I don't think it will feel the grooves. So let me show you how to make these scores without a scoreboard. So I'm just, I have my regular table knife and first of all, we're going to kind of put, I'm going to turn it over to this dull edge and we're just going to bring, bring that down. Okay. So there's a nice score for that side. And then we're going to do the same thing on this, on this edge. So you can see that I have a, this is like a, a foam placemat. And there's the, the score there. I want to just make several, several shallow scores kind of along just down the spine. And this is, it's just going to help the, the spine to bend. Can you see them faintly there? Okay, so now that we have the scores here, now I'm just going to take my fingers and just kind of try to bend that. This is the other reason kind of why I wanted to leave that, um, this just kind of rough. And I would use my, if it were fabric, I could use a tool to kind of help me, but um, I don't want to tear the paper. And that's that's why putting some scores in it just kind of helps. So now that's got kind of a, a curved spine. So now I'm just pushing against my fingers. We did this in a video just recently because <laughs> I remember this part. Okay, so there, that's a really nice rounded edge. Now let's put the signatures in and see how it fits. Oh, it's nice. I like that. I think that fits really well. So I don't know what I'm going to do for a closure, but I like the way those signatures are fitting. And I would, if this wasn't from the Dollar Tree, I would use my elastic and button closure. I'm going to have to figure something else out. Um, we'll see. Now I'll take this away and sew the signatures in and um, clip round the corners on those and then we'll be ready to decorate with packets and tags and other ephemera. We'll see you again with the next project.